the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show with Billy the Kid and Scott Tang. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah. It's, it's the Bill and Scott, Scott Cubicle Show. Show. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's called improv. <laughs> What's going on, I'm Scott? And I'm Bill. What is this? The, the Bill, Bill and Scott, Scott Cubicle, Cubicle Show. Show. Oh, yeah. Epi number 133. Yesterday, I built a wrestling eraser. I just wanted to show him off real quick. No doubt. That's Ryback, I believe, who is a former WWE superstar. Uh, so we got a lot to get to on the show. Why Meek Mill might be released from jail, which is kind of big news right now. The Migos are being sued by a venue right here in Albany, this New is- York. Awesome. So we'll We're get on into TMZ that a little again. bit again. Blues Clues. Blues, Blues Clues. It's making a comeback. We got a poll going on right now at jams963.com. Go participate in it. Post Malone making history. Michael B. Jordan getting Drake out of here. We got some Spice Girl talk. And then why you need to stay woke and why we need to bring back the circus. It's the most wokest moment I've ever had in my life. And, and that's saying something. And I will. Because- I'm very woke. We're pretty woke around Listen, here. So I'm so woke, I'm tired. <laughs> well, you went full circle? Yeah. You went complete circular uh, yes. work woke. Oh, my I goodness. I am so woke, I am okay. tired. Means okay. I got to pick up the slack wow. here. Wow, let's get into it. So Meek Mill, break it down with him. It's being reported that Meek Mill's arresting officer has been dubbed corrupt. <laughs> Ooh. Okay. Ooh. The officer that busted Meek Mill um, back uh, for those gun charges in 2007 is now under investigation, all this stuff uh, for being a corrupting, uh, for being corrupt, you know, doing all these side deals and everything. Um, the investigation by the federal attorneys for several alleged acts of corruption against them. So they're not saying exactly what they are, but <coughs> we've got several of them, which makes me believe he's going to get nailed for at least – one of them. Now, if he does get dubbed a corrupt cop, what does that mean for Meek? Is this an? Does he automatically get released because he was charged on these like gun charges? He's been, you know, in and out of jail and doing probation for over ten years now for this. I mean, as we know, the rules are different for cops, so I don't know how this applies. Like, do they say, "Oh, there were instances of corruption, so we're gonna let go everyone this cop ever caught"? That seems kind of silly um maybe if they investigate his particular case and found that you know like uh, you know re-examine it under a bigger microscope or a closer you know like take a closer look at it because of this they'll find something that's shady and then they can be like all right you were imprisoned or you know under these restrictions unjustly and that's not i don't understand how this works because i'm not a lawyer or anything mm-hmm. like that um so basically we're just talking out our butts here right but I would think that if he was considered like there was corruption and maybe it was something outside of money and it was like making up cases and yeah, right. planning evidence and stuff, I would say that all of his arrests probably would be in question. You want to go point. review those? Where if think? he might be taking money on the side, I think that might be different. Is it make the one where the judge was like? Yo, sign my niece to your label or whatever, yeah. or else I'm going to throw the book at you. Yeah. Man, this guy can't catch a break. No, he can't. <laughs> like... Meek Mill definitely has it. Bad. And he's in jail right now because he popped a wheelie on his motorcycle. Mm. So he's in jail for popping a wheelie. <laughs> like, he really can't catch a break. And since we're talking about, you know, the police and jail and the system, we might as well talk about this lawsuit right now because the Migos... I had, I didn't read this at all. So do you know the full <laughs> well, details here? You, I mean, I lived you were it. around when it happened. It was 2015 when they came to the Washington Avenue Armory, and there was like a, a brawl. There was like a riot. Um, so I guess they showed up to the venue late, like a couple hours late or something like that. Um, I don't actually remember the timetable. But they showed up late, and when they got there, uh, people who were on site said that they reeked of weed and alcohol. That's wow! What I can't, a surprise! That, that just sounds completely out of character. Yeah, but um, and then not those uh, good because Christian the voice, <laughs> good Christian bo- GCB <laughs> Migos. Um, because the fans were so upset, 
that they were late, you know, there was trouble brewing. And it was like the guys in the group were encouraging them to fight. And like some people got stabbed. And so then somebody picked up a barricade and threw a barricade. They were somebody had a barricade and they put it on their shoulders like it was wings and started spinning around. Like (laughs) I shouldn't be laughing at this because this happened here. But I mean, like. It's crazy because that contributed. That, I don't that want, all, also. I don't want to show the video out of respect for like the people that are hurt in like yeah. the venue and everything. But it was a wild scene. Well, this is this contributed in, in large part to the fact that there aren't shows like that at the Armory anymore. Like, the, when was the last time you heard of a? Well, it was you had this happen, and then you had all that crazy stuff, stuff happen like with the that EDM, EDM show, show yeah. and then they're just like no more stuff at the right. Armory. And I, you know, the Armory's. They have every right to be doing this right now right. because it puts a bad name on them and everything. It's it just it's not good. I guess uh, according to the reports in TMZ, they say that the lawsuit says Offset, Takeoff, and Quavo were all quote encouraging, cheering, and inciting the people to fight. Yeah. So and you got to think, you know, because they haven't had shows there, they're losing out on money. Right? Yeah. So a lot they're of money, gonna, I think. They're, yeah, they're going to take action. It was I don't think it was their decision. It was like a, a restriction imposed by the city, right? Like Albany was like, you can't do shows I, here anymore. That may or may not be true. They, I don't. I, know I don't remember. I don't know sure. the full details. Don't don't quote me on this. I'm just I'm I'm going off a of memory. But yeah, like I think seems, the arm reason they're they're perfectly reasonable. right to do it. Yes. Absolutely, because. It's not like they were the ones doing it, and right. then they're the ones that look bad. Mm-hmm. And then the me goes out here making millions, stealing chains, stealing chains. Yeah, wow, they definitely gotta... not drinking or smoking weed. Wow. <laughs> like Christian boys, that's my favorite thing <laughs> I've heard about about Migos in the last several whiles. Ugh. Oh God! Well, we brought it up real quick earlier. Blues Clues, they're getting a reboot, or it's getting a reboot. We have a poll going on right now on the Jam 96.3 oh, Twitter, which would just be open up fun. The drawer, so I can pull up my handy dandy ding, notebook, which was inspired by Blues, Blues Clues, Clues because we're the fact finders. Here. <laughs> I don't uh, actually need my notebook. I just wanted to do that. All right, on the Jam 96.3 Twitter at Jams 963 is: Are you excited for a Blues Clues reboot? Yes, Good I news. love Blues Clues. Not at all. Or wait, the show ended. Three options, just for you, Daryl. Yes. Wow, we're being super friendly now. <laughs> this is people working together. So let us know if you are excited about this. It's just a fun poll, nothing serious. Let's also, there's some an fun open casting call for you know the lead, the lead dude. I guess it could be a girl. Was his name Steve or something? It was Steve, and then it was Joe because Steve went to college, Ooh. and then uh, Joe was for the last few years. But so who knows? Who knows who it's going to be now? Uh, it could. Clues. It could be you could be me. Can we, we can sit in? down in our thinking chair and think, 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 do, 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 do. Because when we use our mind, take a step oh, at a time. Logan we Paul would be perfect for it. Yes, live cubicle audience. Logan Paul. You want Logan Paul? <laughs> I'm so glad you caught on that. On Blue's Clues. I thought that was just going to go right no, under the radar no, no, for I a second. I don't think that would be the greatest no, idea. No, Logan Paul? No, I just, I feel like. The kids like... love him. <laughs> You know what? If it keeps him from filming offensive things on YouTube, then sure. Let's get that swell, good Christian boy. No Logan boy, Paul? Uh, what about exposure. his brother, Jake Paul? I don't know much about Jake Paul. He seems like kind of a bum. Bunch of good Christian boys. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Post Malone making history. Uh, this is fun. This is one of my favorite stories. Finally, I get to do a story. Scott's freaking taking all the, the taking glory. All my shine. Taking his glory. Uh, so Post Malone just became the eighth. Artist in history to ever have two or more songs debut at number two or higher on the Billboard Hot 100. Uh, He's the second rapper to ever do so behind Eminem. And they are in the company of Justin Bieber, Mariah Carey, Katy Perry, Britney Spears, Taylor Swift, and Boys to Men, who are the only group to ever do such a thing. Justin Bieber, Mariah Carey, Katy Perry, Britney Spears, Taylor Swift, Boys to Men, Eminem, and now Post Malone. So out of only group of all time to debut at number one or number two on the Billboard charts? What, to songs? debut two or more songs at number two or number one. So the Beatles aren't on there? Apparently not. Apparently they... Michael Jackson's not on there? Nope. They ne- never had more than, like, debut at number two. So Britney so Malone, Spears isn't on there? She, she is. Oh. Mariah Carey, Katy Perry, Britney Spears. Nope. Um, again, this is sync? the song had to drop and immediately hit number two. So Post Malone had Rockstar in October, and now he has Psycho. I do like Psycho. Um, but this is this is that kind of like 
oddly specific statistic that like it's cool to know okay all post malone's the eighth artist in history and second rapper to ever have two or more songs debut at number two or higher but that's not something that like people are going to go around talking about in everyday life right you know like okay what's the artist who has the, the longest running number one right and that would be actually incidentally boys to men and mariah carey the one sweet day and as tied with despacito which were both at 16 weeks at number one or something like you know who has the most top 10 stuff like that this statistic feels to me like when you're watching a baseball game on tv and they're like pulling up the stats and they got this thing it's like oh the, the slugging percentage of this second baseman batting yeah. lead off at home on Thursdays like uh, they 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 trump up this they pull up all these really particular pieces yeah. to make it sound like this big deal he's the first person in baseball history to be on first three times and hit second once exactly right it's like okay yeah that's uh -huh. i mean good job you're still that don't get me wrong i'm not trying to you know minimize your accomplishments because it's just this a is weird a pretty it's just, it's just there's weird. so many moving parts here yeah yeah like number one or number two number one like, or number like if it was number one that's yeah. that's one thing but like oh number one or number two this is like honestly this is my this is what i basically consider a participation trophy yeah i mean this is like the trophy you got for just participating like number one or number two is cool but it's not number one yeah we usually talk about people that get multiple number ones not mm -hmm. number one or a number two but that's like what's next oh well i'm only the i'm one of 16 people in history to have uh singles at one two or three on the billboard hot 100 mm -hmm. that's like, right you know what I mean? I just, I don't know. It's and a participation when it, trophy. When, especially Billboard does this all the time where they'll pull up all the different charts and be like, oh, Camila Cabello just broke another record. She debuted at number one on the mainstream tubular <laughs> demo that's 18 to 34 in the singles that are On the Twitter charts. charts. Yeah, exactly. I'm just like, okay, this is the most Camila obscure chart Cabello, nobody cares about. First Camila to debut at number one. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Like, okay, moving on. Uh, speaking of moving on, Michael B. Jordan, take it away, Bill. All right, I get to do another one. Why is um, he better than Drake? All right, we're gonna. We'll, we'll, He's first getting I'm gonna Drake tell the story. Out of here. Drake, can I hit it real Drake quick? Drake has now? nothing. Yeah, go, go for it. It has to do with God's plan. It's all God's plan. God's plan. God's so plan. Michael B. Jordan, um, what happened was, tell me, seventeen-year-old girl had Ooh, an emergency okay. appointment with. Mm -hmm. Excuse me, I had a burp. Oh, because I drank that Coke. It's God's plan. God's plan. Um. So the seventeen-year-old girl. I thought, she, I thought you were gonna hit it, so I was waiting for you. To oh, okay. Play. Let me hit. God's plan. God's uh, plan. So <laughs> she had an emergency appointment with her orthodontist. She broke her retainer. And this guy posted about this on Tumblr. Um, she broke her retainer because she clenched her teeth so hard during Michael B. Jordan's shirtless scenes in Black Panther that she snapped the wire. So she had to go in oh and God. get a new one. This orthodontist posted about this on hold Tumblr. On, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pause, pause, pause. It snapped the what? The wire. Okay. And what show did Michael B. Jordan start off in? Was it The Wire? The Wire. This is all a part of God's plan. God's plan. Oh, my God. <laughs> you are. You are too woke. Holy crap. Yeah, I didn't actually know that Michael oh B. Jordan God. had a start Let's the wire. Let's get going. What else so, happened So here? anyway, oh, so wow. this girl sees this post on Tumblr life from the orthodontist, and she recognizes that it's about her, and she's like, oh, my God, I'm embarrassed, but she keeps talking about it because it's funny. So her dad gets in on it, and he tweets, um, already set aside funds sufficient to purchase yet another retainer in anticipation of Mr. Jordan's next film. So yeah. Michael B. Jordan sees that tweet and says, since I feel partly responsible for breaking your retainers, let me know if I can replace them. Michael B. Jordan offered to pay money out of his own pocket to fix this girl's retainers because she broke them looking at his shirtless body. And that's not music video budget money. No. And that's why Michael B. Jordan is better than Drake. Keep it woke, people. He didn't do that for a music video nope. like Young Bill just said. He just did it because it was the right thing. It wasn't even the right. It was more than the right thing. It was like And he didn't even right. get publicity for it. No, did he put nah. it out on the gram or anything? I think he just tweeted it. Okay. It was probably like, it wasn't like, yo, I'm donating money to this girl to give her a new retainer. He just like tweeted at them like, yo, I'll get you some money. Like word. He seems like a chill dude. I like funny because he Jordan. played a really good villain. Yeah. And a really bad good guy. <laughs> Are you talking about Fantastic Four? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> have you seen it? Yeah. Oh, I haven't seen that one Why do you one think I bring I it just... up so much? <laughs> <laughs> I, have a, I have a thing that I, I just love bad movies for some reason. Speaking of things that you bring up so much, 
in bad movies that you love. The greatest scene from any movie in time is when the Spice Girl tour bus hops over, like, the London Bridge. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah, okay. There it is. There it is. Someday okay. I'll play you a clip of the video. Because the Spice Girls reunion is now off. Oh, wow. Again. What a surprise. We've been going back and forth and up and down and every which way with these dang rumors. And now this week, um, we got word... From Mel C, not Mel B. Mel B is Scary Spice. Okay. Mel C, Sporty Spice, says that she never got an invitation to the royal wedding, like Mel B said all the girls were invited Unless to. Unless she's being replaced. Um, and apparently Victoria Beckham has now pulled out of the reunion again because she just likes killing everybody's fun. Or, or actually, here's a stay woke moment for you. This is what I think. Down, Bring it down. I think that they're just they they just keep doing this to get us to keep talking about it every week. Because if you notice, every week it's on, and then the next week it's off, and then the next week it's back on, and then the next mm. week it's off. So I would I would lay money down right now that you know what I'm gonna hang on. He's gonna lay the money down. And you see, do you see this silver piece? It's a George Washington. That's what you call a coin. Laid right down. I bet you anything. Next week, within sometime within the next week, they're gonna say, "Oh, guess what? It back know, on." It, you know, what? I'll even I'll even double down on this by saying that it's gonna be Mel B. Scary Spice is being like, "Oh no, no, it's definitely happening for real, for sure." Within the next, by the end of next week, so like within the next ten days. Okay, so I just brought up this like thing real quick, and uh, Kyle, I see your comment here. You say they stopped the show, so it's on them that they're losing money, not the Migos' fault. But the Migos encourage they, they the fans to do it. Incited the difference. brawl. Yeah. yeah. You have to stop it when people are using barricades and, and stabbing, swinging them at people. And stabbing people. Yeah. That's the... You got to look out for the safety of people more than for their entertainment. I have to address this comment right here, though. <laughs> I really do. Because they, they, they can't control that. I mean... And then when you they can then, by shutting it down. Yeah, then so when did. a venue gets cited afterwards by, like, police and stuff. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Like, what are you bears. supposed to do? And it's also it wasn't just Amigos. EDM shows had a huge, yeah, huge had a problem with, with drugs. I think that and was more everything too. Of it, but you know, this certainly didn't help. Yeah. But anyways, shout out you, Kyle. We always Thanks appreciate you tuning in. on in there, guy. Um. And finally, the stay woke moment that we are going. I've been to get looking to forward here. to this for the last half an hour. Okay. Why we need to bring back the circus? Okay. The Ringling and Brothers, the Barnum and Belly. Uh, circus, right? It was around for 146 years. It started April 10th, 1871, and went until May 21st, 20 or 2017. All right, ended like nine months ago. Within the past nine months, you could possibly say the world has become a circus. It's become a circus because there is no circus. So without the bearded lady, without, you know, the the clowns and the and the, the tight walkers, whatever they're called, right? Without the them, trapeze artists. Yes. The world becomes a circus, okay? Now there is clowns everywhere. Okay? Clowns everywhere. Let me break it down. Okay, within the past this is just in the past couple months. This isn't even within the nine months that the circus has been out. Within the past couple months, we've had a black China sex tape. Like, how clownish is that? Okay? Children and young adults were eating Tide Pods. Donald Trump. The scandals, political and personal. Especially the one with a porn star. Philly almost burned down their own freaking city after they uh, won the, won the Super, Bowl. Super Bowl, okay? These are all clown things that happen, and it's all happened after the circus has been gone. And then, just to put a little bit of icing on the cake here, when I mean, we could get going even further with stuff, but, okay, Quincy freaking Jones comes out and does this epic interview, right, where he says Michael Jackson is a music thief. He said that... He had relations with Ivanka Trump. Quincy, not Michael. Yeah, what I Quincy said. himself said he had Yeah, yeah, it. Quincy yeah. had it, not Michael. Great, yeah. <laughs> Just to clarify. Quincy also says he know who killed Kennedy. He also said the Beatles suck. 
He went on to say that Marlon Brando, the guy from The Godfather, had relations, um, in bed relations with James Baldwin, Richard Pryor, and Marvin Gaye. Now, this has all happened here since the circus ended, right? What, what I do want to say, if he said the Beatles suck, I mean, did they ever have two or more songs debut at number two or higher on the Hot 100? I don't think so. So, not as good as Post Malone. I think that's confirmed on stream yeah but but you make an excellent point that if the circus was here none of this circus none of this clownness would be happening bring back the circus so what you're saying is that the circus was like an anchor like a like a, a vessel a container that imprisoned all this clown activity and kept it in one central location. And maybe the reason why the circus traveled around so much is because it couldn't stay in one place at one time. Otherwise, it would break open like Pandora's box, releasing all this clown activity into the world to go even deeper into your... I don't know if that one fired off. Let me try it again. There it is. Not to mention, it was the greatest show and they made the best movie of 2017 about P.T. Barnum and his daggone mother-hecking circus. So, bring it back! <laughs> because without it, frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. All right, so with that all being said, that was good. That was, that was super-duper woke. I was driving in this morning, and I was just like, Boom! <laughs> Oh, man. Okay. With that all being said, that is it for today's episode of uh, The Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Thank you for tuning on in. We appreciate it. Um, thanks for everybody for commenting. Um, yes, it really was that bad. I was there, too. I was right there. <laughs> right on the side, and it was really bad. I wasn't there. I was probably on air because I was doing nights Yeah, back then. I almost got hit with a freaking barricade. It was bad. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, with that being said, uh, also shout out to uh, Lori for tuning on in, too. She just said morning, guys. Cheers. Good I actually morning. have a little thing up on the side today that I can see some comments. So uh, if I can remember, I will bring this up more often, and then I'll be able to look at your comments, and then maybe we can kind of talk back and forth and incorporate with what you guys are saying in the comments section afterwards because that would be, uh, be kind of cool. But the problem is... My memory. Now it's time for so long. Do, 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 do. But we'll sing just one more song. Do, 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 do. Thanks for doing your part. You sure are smart. You know, with me and you and my dog, Blue. Wait, I make I skip something. We can do anything. Do, bum, 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 bum. Do, 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 That we want to do. Hey! Check us out Monday through Thursday on the Jams Facebook page at 10.30 Eastern Time. Because that's the only time all that matters! One. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show! That's what I'm talking about, boy! Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah? Bill and Scott Cubicle Show. Yeah! Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott, Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott, Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott, Cubicle Show. It's the Bill and Scott, Bill and Scott, Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Cubicle Show. Not a rectangle show. Not a triangle show. Not a pyramid show. It's a Cubicle Show. Bill and Scott, Cubicle Show. Yeah. Bill and Scott, Cubicle Show. Yeah.